Hi folks, Thomas Sinson here with ThomasSinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today is a follow-up video on one that I shot earlier around C++. So I had a question come in around C++. I'm gonna go ahead and this is a follow-up to it and say, hey, maybe I was wrong on some of my stance around C++. Uh, so, you know, we talked about, you know, okay, if I've got C++ skills, what am I thinking about from a big data perspective or deep learning and some of the other pieces? I got a follow up, uh, I've done a little bit more research, I've seen a few more things actually come up. And so let's find out after this about where my stance has kind of changed and, you know, if I'm recommending people to go and get C++, you know, and learn, learn that to be able to get involved in big data right after this. So, welcome back. I appreciate everybody following along. I appreciate everybody subscribing to this channel. If you've not subscribed, go ahead, click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it also brings you a lot of value in videos like this. Second off, if you have a question like this around big data technology or you know deep learning, anything like that, go ahead, submit it here in the comment section below or find me on thomashinson.com forward slash big questions. Submit those questions. I'll do my best to answer them here for you, give you the best explanation. Sometimes I might get it wrong. Sometimes you might not like some of the answers, but that's what this is all about. So let me know what you think about this, how you feel about this channel, all in the comment section here below, and I appreciate it. And so now this question, that we're gonna to tackle today. It's a follow-up from a video that I did before where I had a question around, okay, uh, C++ skills, are they gonna help me in big data? And for the most part, my stance was, you know, I just don't see it a lot um, from a big data perspective and even, you know, even in some of the machine learning and some of the other pieces around the big data and Hadoop ecosystem. And so I'll say that my stance has changed a little bit. So I will say where I see it more and where I'm seeing it pop up is around deep learning. So if you look at, you know, start getting into some of the deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow and some of the other pieces, a lot of things that you do with TensorFlow at the higher level is gonna be based on Python and being able to write and kind of abstract away some of the lower, lower level language code. But the underlying code under it is C++ and you find that in a lot of other languages too. You know, and some of that combined with Kudu, which is NVIDIA's um, proprietary language for, uh, for writing with the GPUs and some of the other pieces. So I see it more in the community probably than I led to say in the video that uh, that came up just from like I said just naturally going through and learning and doing some of the research that I've been kind of involved with with deep learning. But you know with that being said does this change my stance on hey if I am brand new to you know big data or I want to get involved in deep learning should I run out and learn C++? Did my stance change? I don't think so. So I, I still stand by the statement where, you know, if we're looking to get a job to get, you know, to jump in in the big data or even the deep learning area, I think there's a lot more opportunities for people with maybe Python skills or heavy math skills and understanding how these models and how to how to build these algorithms. Right. I don't think um, that having going out and getting C++ in order to get the job is really the right step. I think, you know, if you already have C++, I'm not saying that, hey, just throw it away and don't ever, you know, don't don't remember that language, which I don't know that that's possible. Like I used to do VB.net and I have forgotten some, but I, I mean, I didn't throw it away, right? I could, I, I could probably still jump in there and uh, start coding uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So if you have C++ skills, there's no reason not to try and find, you know, find a job, you know, or find a career in still doing C++. My stance is if you're if you're looking at it, I don't think it's something that you're going to go out and learn to do C++ in order to get a job in in deep learning, unless that's something you want to do, unless you want to be more at the, I would say the lower level or maybe the, you know, it's not the kernel level, but, you know, abstracting away uh, on that layer. My preference is to be a little bit higher in the stack. And then honestly, if you go out there and you look for C++, you know, big data related jobs, you're going to find some, but you're still not going to find as many as if you open the door to Python and some of the other higher level languages or even Java and uh, MapReduce. So, you know, being in this field, you, there's a lot of opportunities, but you know, if you're, if, if you're, if you're a new student, if you're, you know, new to, new to this community, I would stick with, with learning some of the new popular frameworks. Like I said, go out and find TensorFlow, get involved with PyTorch, you know, cafe, even look at some of the higher level abstractions like Keras or TF learning. 
get some skills with those, back them up with some math skills, or if you're on the uh, data engineering side, more, you know, more with uh, wanting to implement them. I mean, you know, learn how to stand up your own Hadoop cluster. Learn, you know, learn how to implement um, Spark and some of the other pieces versus going out and learning C++ uh, straight up. So a little bit of a change, I guess, on my video before, but my stance, my stance is kind of the same. But hey, this, that's what this channel is all about. So if you have any questions or you have any comments or, hey, what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that, you know, somebody should go out and learn C++ in order to get it? you know, to start their career off in deep learning or big data, let me know in the comment section here below. I mean, maybe I'll have you on and we can do it. We can do a video chat over Skype and record it and find out, you know, hey, if you think I'm wrong, let me know. Let's 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 have this community and have that conversation until next time. See you.